Hi again. My name is Revel, and I'm the Revel Reese. <laughs> you are so bad. Hi, my name is Revel, and I'm the Revel Reseller. And today we're going to be doing my Watts Solds, but we're doing it a little bit different. Today we're going to be pulling all my sales that were for Saturday and Sunday, which would have been March 20, 23rd and 24th. March 23rd and 24th. Um, right, Saturday and Sunday. And then tomorrow we'll do um, another video every day that we're pulling stuff. And then we're probably going to put out three videos. So it'll probably be today's. And then we might have to throw on tomorrow morning. I'll have to do it by myself because you won't be here. We'll throw what sold overnight this afternoon and what sold overnight. And then we'll do a video for um, the rest of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I'll do another video for Thursday, Friday, and whatever we ship Saturday morning. Um, and then we'll see how this goes. See if you guys like these types of videos or do you want me to go back and start doing what I've always done? The Just pop up the screens for you and go through um, the sales. You're seeing everything that I sell um, this way. The good, the bad, and the ugly. A lot of times I was only showing you stuff in the other videos that were like six and seven dollars and up. But, you know, as we're rec pulling, we're recording everything. So you'll see all of my sales for each day. I'm not really concerned about whether or not they like it. I think you need to be concerned about whether or not the video editor likes editing this because it's seeming like a lot more work to me already. I think so. It's not as much as me just sitting down and going through the screens, is it? And me falling asleep halfway through and having to rewind. Yep. We didn't check, though, if we had any solds from other... Okay. Yep. yep. Nothing from the other platforms. So this is all eBay for this Saturday and Sunday so far. I think it was... How many... It was 25? Something like that. 29. 29 items that we've pulled and shared with you guys. All right. Get to work. No, you have to do that at the end. <laughs> yeah, you said we've, we've pulled and shared. But we hadn't pulled and shared yet because that was the intro. Oh, yeah. See? Doing this, the intro, after we did all the pulling. I know. It, and I told you that you should have waited for me. You keep nodding your head like that. <laughs> Let's get to pulling. Yep, let's get to pulling. Except they already know that we've already pulled it. And this is like a fake intro because it's like a middle intro. Because tro. Robert started without me. Welcome to what was supposed to be my workshop for building wood projects. But it has been taken over by eBay. I got to scroll through here until I find things in this room. First item is a Dream Glow Barbie Parasol Umbrella Accessory. This sold for $18 plus shipping. It's over here in shelf 72, right here. Shelf number five on it, basket A. It is Probably should have gotten a better look at this thing before I dove into it. It's just a little stick looking thing. Rebel knows what all these things look like much better than I do because she's the one that processes them. Seventeen four oh nine. There it is, finally. I think she said we're pulling about twenty six. Uh, we have some pants, number nineteen fifty six. It's gonna be back here. Forty six, probably in here. Nineteen fifty six. This is a pair of Izod men's jeans, relaxed fit, size 4232, sold for 1250 plus shipping. 
And those two are the only things in this room. Off to the next room. Next, we have a Schleich Pegasus Rainbow Wings, three and a half inches. It's in B04. We have these shelves pulled out of, or drawers pulled out of storage units, and we stack them along this middle shelf that's real skinny. Number 16223. Right there. So this is the Schleich Pegasus Rainbow Wings. Three and a half inches tall, sold for $750 plus shipping. Onto the ABC Angel candle holder pair. So we're going to shelf 12, row 3A. They look like in a box. Maybe right there. Angel candle holders. $7,979. I like it when they're easy to find. The baskets that have all the small stuff in it are a pain. Because there's so many things in there to dig through. So the candle holder sold for $805 plus shipping. Everything's plus shipping for us. Red Apple Magnets. 12-4-A. Next basket down. Sometimes I actually pay attention and... Look in the next basket. Sometimes I forget. Red Apple Magnets 02081. 02081 Red Apple Magnets sold for. Wow, she must be getting rid of this. $3.34. Next, there are some magazines, but they're in the basement where we work. All right. Sanrio Little Twin Stargirl Plush. 5-5-B. Five, five it's going to be in here. Number 02598. These are small. Row two, five, nine, eight. These sold for thirteen seventy four. Are you gonna follow me? And well, you can feel like royalty. I am royalty. A royal pain in my derriere. Fine. I've already pulled a few things that are from the house because I've got two rows of shelving that I put over there. It's like for rainy days and stuff like that when I don't feel like walking across. Um, but I had a few things that had sold over there. I'm not going to show that room because it's my son's bedroom. He has half of the basement and I put some shelves in there to divide his side of the room from the rest of the room. And frankly, it's a boy's room and it's messy. And you could, it's probably so bad you could smell it. But first thing on the list is this. Oops, I already lost my screen. It is a Wedgwood quince serving tray sold for $17.95. We bought these probably two years ago and I um, bought a large lot of dishes and I'm down to some cups and saucers and a few extra things left. 263B. This is kind of like making me nervous. Here we go. Right, next things that sold is I picked up a Treasure Trolls game. Um, I think when we were up in Connecticut and it was missing pieces. So I just decided to go ahead and pull the pieces that I had and list them separately. And these sold for $8.96. Oh, next thing is also from the other room. 
It is this Taggy's Lovey security blanket, and it sold for $8.96. All right. All right. This is a Playful Pals Mervyn's Bear Plush, listed in January and sold for $12.10. All right, and then this is a Scenario Little Big Planet Sack Boy Plush. We picked this at, up at a thrift store that was going out of business. I think I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $22.35. What's the brand name? Scenario. <laughs> Not Sanrio. <laughs> just making sure you're saying the right thing, because I assume she's just wigged out nope. and saying Sanrio wrong. Sanrio, no. I called it Sanrio in that video, because I just didn't notice the difference. One to three, one, five. This is Hobby Lobby Rabbit Plush Ballerina, sold for $7. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say they sold for $7, they also paid shipping. All right. Next is back here. One, seven, three, B. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Leanne. Leanne bought this dandy panda bear, and it sold for $7.50. Alright, then we're going to go over here. Ugh. Ugh. go Mary Meyer flip-flops octopus sold for ten dollars okay. oh. we're still over here y'all climbing ladders I gotta do something with that person bought two rabbits. First one is this Animal Adventure Purple Rabbit. The total order is $13. So they got this rabbit and another rabbit. Let's see what the number. The number is 343. It's the same brand rabbit just tan so the two of them were thirteen dollars the next two are in the same bin which is this Ooh, right here's one fisher price sweet streets carnival cup ride five dollars and thirty six cents oh here's the next one Uh, Fisher Price Sweet Streets. Oh, this is the same buyer. They've not combined shipping. So I'll have to do that. Um, food trays, $6.50. Alright, so Halloween. 159. These are all my littles. Oh, right there. 
These are some itty, itty bitty Halloween figures sold for $18.68. All right, the next one's behind you. I pulled it from the other side. This is one of the Mattel Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks sold for $6.26. Back this way. All right, we're looking for some dolls, number 572. This is my tote of character toys. These are the ones that I mentioned that I do not like to dig through because no. there are so many things in each basket. It's difficult to find things. I've been trying to contemplate a scheme of adding, instead of having three different baskets there, having six different baskets, but they're all smaller so we can split it up and find things more quickly. Yep. This is Disney Princess Mini Dolls, $11.61. Alright, I'm going that way. Oh, this one I just, just listed. Remember this? This is the Bass Pro Shop Little Deer Plush. Sold instantly $25. Sorry, dearie. This is my Fisher Price basket. Rebel climbs the ladder. Robert I, drags him down. I grab the tote and pull it off and set it on the floor. That's too much work. Fisher Price Happy Birthday Singamajig sold for seventeen dollars and five cents. But if you're tall enough to reach the basket, it's not too much work. It's the easier way. And then this, you can't see it, but this is another one of the chalkware wall hangings. This one was um, like a yellow lily, and it sold for $18. That's set over here for several months, and then you listed them last week? Last week. And they just started flying off the shelf. Yep. Instantly starting to sell them. One or two a day. All right, that way. No, this way, right here. Maybe. These are like fragile, more fragile than, oh, he had these stiff ears, so I put it in there. All right, it is by TB Trading Company. It's a little white rabbit, and it sold for $6, one of my really old listings. I pulled something that was like three and a quarter earlier. Mm-hmm. But it's Old. gone. It's gone. All right. And then I picked up three Christmas around the world, like wall tapestry Christmas hangings. Been listed a really long time also. And this one sold for $28.99. I think I paid three bucks each. So, all right. I need a book. Bye, sweetie. What's my number? 142. Yep. There it is. All right. This is Master Study Bible New American Standard Holman Encyclopedia Concordance. It was on my death pile, profit pile shelf, and it sold for $26.95. All right. Dollhouse. for 733 bathroom. Oops, right on top. All right, Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Bathroom Set, $22.91. All right, crafts. I only have one basket of crafts. I wish I could find more of the kits, but I don't. I bought this ladder at Aldi's and I wish that I bought all of them because as you can see it's very very light and easy for me to move around. 
All right. This person bought two of these. Number 364. 364. Three, six, four. It looks like I, I have two sets in this bag. It is Jack Dempsey Needle Art 18 inch quilt squares praying hands. Two of them total $17.92. thought Jack Dempsey was a boxer, not a I quilter. Know. I don't know. I pick up most craft kits. A lot of them are bread and butter. If you find Dimension Gold, you got gold. Oh, we got a pull a magazine. Oh, and that's a viewer sale. That's from Sherry with the two R's. Sherry bought some traveling vans, magazines, and some Apple magnets that Robert pulled. She paid a total of $12.34. All right. I'm going to go pull. It is six thirty in the morning. Got to get this done early this morning because I have to teach at the homeschool co-op. So I have to get this done. Get ready to go. It's nice and dark in here. And then I realized overnight in the middle of the night that I wanted to add a little bit more to what I was going to talk about. We're talking about World War One. First on the list is B03A. That is right here. And this is one that has not been inventoried. It's a Douglas bear face. It's not a stuffed animal. It's just a stuffed face, apparently. There you have it. Just a face. Speaking of teaching about war, maybe this is from the French Revolution. Not sure. Next on the list. Taco Bell Crazy Straws. Oh, wait. Back to this guy. The Stuffed Bear Face. Sold for $9.86. It's been listed. says 22.12. So it's been listed at least since December 2022. And that's the first date we put anything down. And everything listed on or before that month has that date. Because we didn't know exactly when they were listed. B02A. This is going to be a Taco Bell Crazy Straws. Right there on top. Got to look farther back. I'd have seen it from the get-go. So Taco Bell Crazy Straws right here. Looks like some sort of eyeball. Monster eyeball. Guess it's an eyeball. Next up we have, this one is just called Shelf. Rebel and her names. I'm a bit more nerdy about things than she is sometimes. 944, this is a Department Feeder 6. Department Feeder 6, no, Department 56 Peter Rabbit. Ceramic figurines. Yep, it does have a number, 0944. Next on the list, wait, Peter Rabbit. They sold for $7. Now we have something listed $23.12. This was in the basement. Rebel already pulled it. This is a Boyd's Bear plush lot. Patience, Mouse, Crumbs, Teacher, Miss Wisely. Stuffed animals, $22.45. Pretty good sale for a few small bears. 
Next up, we have 25-2B. This basket right here. Rebel likes to climb up. I like to pull them down to the floor. 14877. This is a Dimensions Cruel Romance for a Roses Kit. 14877. Probably going to be one of these larger pieces. Hopefully. I'm not guessing wrong on that part. There it is. And for roses. And this sold for $9.86. Dimensions does really well. Well, I think Rebel mentioned that in the earlier part of this video, especially the is it gold series. They can sell for quite a lot of money. 32.5C. So right across the aisle here, we have number 42.35, which is a Hallmark Easter Rabbit. He's kind of in the traditional rabbit hopping position. 42.35. Number one. Apparently she had two of these with different conditions. So she writes the number one there on the bag and she puts that in the title so ebay doesn't think she has duplicate listings which they frown upon they frown upon they frown on let me sound all poetic or something here and then next we have lola's pet shop which is in b02b right, so i'm gonna come on this side it's a little brighter and this is a cat short hair cat Number 17492. Gotta love all these little things in here. But at least we know what we're dealing with. If it's not a little less pet shop, then we don't even have to look at the number. This one, 17248. And you might notice that Rebel and I dig differently. She digs in the bin, usually, and I take them out of the bin and set them on the floor. And that's the end of the pulling for this morning. Time to go get it packed. Well, let's talk about packing. This guy. A lot of times we will find a box, because you know we buy the boxes that and they come flat. We'll find a box that flat that this will slide in. And because it's already thick enough, we'll just tape the edges down and ship it like that. If it's something that's thin, like like maybe just a, a poster thing or something, we'll put a piece of bubble wrap in there to make the package thick enough. These are glass. They're going to get, they're already wrapped individually in bubble wrap. Then this will get put into the box that it's going to go in to be shipped along with some air pillows to fill it out if it's not full enough. This is going to go in a 4x4 four four box. We used to wrap this in uh, bubble wrap, but this medium, it's we call it the large because it's the larger size we use, but this is actually medium bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. We used to wrap these things in one of those and put it in a 4x4 four four box. It worked really well. However, since we bought the air pillow machine, this will take probably two... Yeah, two and a four by four box. This will take two air pillows, which costs two cents to make, and these are 13 cents each. So it saves us 11 cents on the packing materials every time we pack something like that. This will go into probably our 12 by 6 by 6 box, which is a very large box for this, but it's the one that we have that's going to be long enough for it. And fill it out with air pillows. This is probably going to go into the 8 by 6 by 4 box the layer of air pillows on top of it to keep it from bouncing around in the box. This is got its musical lined up. So it's going to go probably in the same 8 by 6 by 4 box with some air pillows. This is just a rabbit, but I feel things inside. Oh, it's a basket. So this will probably, based on its weight, go in that 12 by 6 by 6 box with a few air pillows maybe to keep it from bouncing around in there. 
unless it's heavy enough that with the box it's going to go priority, then it will go into a shoe box padded with some air pillows. All right, y'all. I've got to pull two posh orders, and I'm a bad reseller. Bad. I got a reminder message from Posh this morning that I hadn't shipped an item that was purchased four days ago. I didn't notice it in my emails, so I've got to get that out. First thing this morning, and we'll see how this goes, because of course it's on the top shelf. All right, I don't have a ladder. Here's my ladder. Hope you guys aren't like seeing up my nose because I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alrighty. Okay. Ooh, I need to pull $22.90. Oops. All right, $22.90. Yep, right here. And then I need to go pull some Paw Patrol. Let's see. Click on some lights. We are going to 032A. Oh, of course I need a ladder. Always shorty. 032A. Right there. All right, Paw Patrol number 050. All right. Paw Patrol. They're die cast. So hopefully they won't be too hard. Not you. There they are. Oh, I don't. Oh, let me tell you, the dress that sold on Poshmark was a toffee apple denim women's maxi dress sold for $28. And the Paw Patrol lot of six sold for $18. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was different, different. You get to really see us digging through the bins. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. A lot of it, um, luckily, was easy to find and pull for you guys. But I didn't think it was so easy. You were grouchier, <laughs> bossing me around more than normal, which is normally usually pretty. You're, normally, you're not even helping me with these videos. So normally, I'm just doing the pulling all by myself over here in peace and quiet. And this was not. No, this was bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, get to work. Bye.